Welcome back to Our CNY. I'm Dave Velasquez. And I'm George Kilpatrick. Joining us now is Deacham Shifley. Dr. Shifley works in Cornell University's Communications Department and is also a public opinion researcher. And we thank him for joining the conversation today and taking that beautiful drive up 81 from Ithaca, New York. Good Appreciate to be here. Good to see you uh, once again. And I guess the question for our viewers, Dave, is whether or not, well, how do you make your decision about who to vote for? Are you swayed by political advertising or is it something else that matters to you? 451-2414. I guess we should ask you that. Yeah, right? <laughs> follow up is how, how much attention should we pay, we as voters, pay to what we're already starting to see on, on television, at least in, in the race for governor? I would say at, at this stage it's probably a little bit too early to pay too much attention. I mean, the Democrats are still trying to sort out you know who their candidate uh, who their candidate is going to be, and 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 uh, most voters tend to not pay a lot of attention at that stage of the campaign, and it's probably a good thing. Uh, campaigns tend to be longer and longer, and get longer and longer, and uh, and the decision is it's almost like a basketball game. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's made in the, in the last minutes usually. But we're, we're we're not paying attention, but there's certainly a lot of ads if we decide to pay attention. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. I mean, they're definitely uh, uh, struggling to to position themselves and 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 try to figure out what their message is going to be, uh, if it's going to be positive, negative, uh, what issues they're going to pay attention to, and they want the uh, the state to pay attention to. Now, will they make some of those decisions based on what they think voters want to hear? In other words, you know, sometimes in some election cycles, you hear from a public opinion standpoint that the public doesn't want to have anything to do with negative uh, advertising. They don't want to see any of that. So I mean, how, how important, I guess, is public opinion in formulating ad campaigns yeah. that politicians put together? I, I think the, the, the key thing is uh, the, the difference between perceptions, what the candidates think the public wants to hear and, 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 uh, and, and does pay attention to, and, and then general campaign strategy, things that, that we know work. Um, and I think, uh, I think it's both. Uh, Pataki clearly he believes in his record and, and clearly thinks that, uh, that you know, he has done certain things right and and, um, and and wants to emphasize that but at the same time he knows that as an, as an incumbent um, he he shouldn't go negative and there's no point to go negative um, he's been a, a, a governor during some of the hardest times that, that New York State has, has gone through and 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 you can see that I will see some of the ads mm -hmm. I, I understand um, you'll see that from his ads the, the fact that he very strongly believes that that is you know part of a very strong record and and um, and, uh, and and he emphasizes that in, in various ways that we'll, t we'll, we'll be talking about mm -hmm. well now let's go talk about him then mm -hmm. let's take a look at uh, George Pataki trying to get your vote George Pataki there's a real guy there's a real man who uh, really cares about people he's been an excellent governor with regard to giving us a sense of purpose that we didn't have before he always takes time out to see how you're doing how you are how your family is. I think people have always looked at George Pataki as a very honest man and a man who's a real source of strength uh, for our state. I'm proud to call George Pataki my governor. I'm proud still to call him my friend. Let's react to uh, some of those, George. The thing that comes to my mind, first of all, Dietram, is the fact that he chose who a lot of people consider a hero or, or someone who came out of the September 11th situation extremely popular and having him talk about the governor's record and what he's done. Yeah, that's uh, the, the whole Giuliani thing is, is has an interesting twist to it and, and, and that is that Pataki and Giuliani have not always been best never, friends. I, I was going to say, I, probably September 11th is what brought them together, if you will. Exactly, and, and, and even more ironically, um, um, Pataki was, um, um, Giuliani was actually the person who endorsed uh, Mario Cuomo, Mario in, Cuomo. In, in, in 1994. Which started that whole rift. I, exactly, and, and so now all of a sudden, you know, we have Andrew Cuomo running and, 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 and Giuliani <laughs> endorsing Pataki. So His that's, friend. That's a, a very soap opera twist to this to this whole idea, and calling him, as you say, exactly. That's the most important point. In the end, ending the ad saying, "My friend," um, and uh, and and so I think that's that's the first thing that's that's very good about this ad, and, and makes it very effective. The second aspect to it is was the whole September 11th idea. Clearly, that that mm -hmm. comes out. I mean, Giuliani. Has has built a large part of his reputation in in in, in his post September 11th kind of appearance or as part of that, and um, and and I think uh, Pataki is clearly trying to uh, not trying to be cynical here, but is is ca trying to capitalize on that by having him on and saying, if somebody like Giuliani, who could in my opinion run for public office anywhere right now, um, is endorsing me, then you know that should you should do that mm. too as as a voter. 
your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking that uh, I was going back to the what he referred to earlier as the endorsement uh, that uh, Giuliani uh, gave Cuomo earlier, and the fact that they had there was always this sort of rift between him, yeah. he and Pataki to see him yeah. now endorsing him. I thought was 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 pretty interesting. Um, but I think it's effective. I think that certainly it's a feel good kind it's of thing. I mean, yes. You come it's very, the right. music that was chosen, right. the you know, a and safe kind of. And that's the right strategy for an incumbent, um, especially for, for a Republican incumbent. Um, the right strategy is to, to stay positive, stay on message, and not let anyone bother you, especially as, as the Democrats are still trying to... to so what is the out. message of that ad, that, that I'm a friend of somebody who is significantly respected by a lot of people and therefore I must be good? Um, I think that, that's, that's exactly it. Um, a lot of voters make decisions on, on what we in communication or in political science also call heuristics. Um, so you don't have time as a voter to collect all the information, to read the party platform, to go out and, 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 and listen to everything that Pataki has ever said. So we need to take shortcuts. We need to use the available information and, and make a decision very often very quickly with limited information. And that's one of them saying, hey, if Giuliani likes him, I like him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, very often that's how you make friends. You go out, you meet sure. somebody, and, oh, that's a friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. And that's good enough. George, let's look at another ad that Governor Pataki is uh, currently running in his re-election campaign. Governor George Pataki cares about upstate New York. That's why Governor Pataki is fighting to protect every job we have and to create new jobs. Low-cost loans to create jobs. Increased job training to provide cutting-edge skills. New high-tech centers producing thousands of new jobs. And tax credits for small businesses that create jobs. That's the Pataki record. New York. Prouder. Stronger. Better. Governor George Pataki. Leadership that works. Certainly flashy, if <laughs> Very nothing flashy. else, right? Sort of a cut, cut, cut style of. Uh, I mean, how yeah. effective is the the? I want to say the visual look of the ad. Is that an important part of of a decision? I, I do think that's 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 very important, and it's it's important mostly in terms of making the ad either positive or negative, okay. and, and seem positive or negative. What you'll see in a lot of ads that have been called negative. Is is black background is you know mm -hmm. white font and and we're gonna and get to some of that in a little bit I right. exactly and 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 uh, and whereas this is it's it's dark blue it's it's very nicely done it's very understated um, and so but more importantly I think it's 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 again the same thing that I said earlier it's the reliance on the record I'm the incumbent right. why would you change anything about a state that's you know been through so much and still things are going well. And again, in the end, I think the slogan is, is what I really like about this ad, the, the you know, New York, prouder, stronger, better. That sounds like such a post-September mm -hmm. 11th kind of... After kind of listing a comp specific concrete Exactly, you know, and, and saying, how did we come out of this? This was the hardest time. We came out prouder, we came out stronger, we came out better. You, know what, you know what I thought? What I found interesting in that ad was that the governor was not alone. He was not at his, behind his desk. He was always surrounded by people, and whether it was hand-slapping or surrounded by... That seemed, to, from an image standpoint... Right. To yes. be effective. Yes, absolutely, and and uh, and uh, again, you know, the, the the key constituencies that he's trying to target are all represented in, in the mm -hmm. people that he met in that ad. Mm -hmm. so, again, very strategic. Which process. goes along with one of the lines in there: leadership that works, mm -hmm. which which is what you were referring to, mm -hmm. showing him working with all the different different people uh, throughout New York State. And, and also leadership that works in contrast to some of, uh, of his competitors that, you know, uh, have been running for, you know, maybe two times already, but at the same time, he has the experience, he is the person that has proven, given his record, that all of this works. Why would we change? And yeah. that's, that's the, I think, the, the message that he's trying to You know, to. the one thing that we sort of have all overlooked in that ad, the ad, that ad was specifically targeted. Remember how it was oh, upstate. upstate New York? Right, right. Kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. He, he cares about upstate, he, 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 according he, to that ad. According to that ad. <laughs> right, exactly. He cares about upstate as much as, as Hillary Clinton did and as much as, as any other candidate does, you know, that comes in and, and runs a campaign here. Mm. All right. Well, it's not all good for Governor Pataki, so says Thomas Galasano.